Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel which is the build 27754. In this video as always we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and what is fixed in the latest Canary build so you can watch all that in this video. If you enjoy videos like these don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all in this build Microsoft is announcing the modernized Windows Hello also on the Canary channel which includes a modernized Windows Hello visual communication section inside the lock screen, also some credential user experience for pass keys and the new administrator protection experience. You can see more info about that on the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. One new change in this build, if you hold shift and control when clicking on a jump list item in the start menu or the taskbar, this will now launch that item as admin, just like if you were to do shift plus control and click the app icon itself. Microsoft is also adding the new taskbar thumbnails and new animations inside the Canary channel. I think these are a looking pretty good. They should be rolling out to the main release in the coming months maybe. And as I've said, I'm liking them a lot because they are a bit bigger. They have bigger title bars, the RAM recorders, of course, and the nice modern animations when you hover over an item in the taskbar. In the latest Canary build, we're also getting the shortened time and date. So you can see more info about that in taskbar settings. And if you go to date and time, you're going to have the new options whenever you are expanding show time and date in the system tray, show abbreviated time and date. And also on taskbar settings yet again you have the notification settings where you can enable or disable the notification bell icon we also have some fixes in this build Microsoft fixed the issue with applying policy for the digital markets act in the EA regions in the bill 27749 and they also fixed an issue where an update failing and rolling back could potentially result in a duplicate windows entry in the bit menu related to the file explorer Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which was causing raw images taken in portrait mode to unexpectedly display in landscape mode thumbnails and they also did some work so the search box in the file explorer shouldn't draw off the end of the window anymore. Related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue on secondary monitors for left-aligned taskbar users where the widgets text in the taskbar might overlap the date and time. Related to input, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which could cause the mouse to unlock from a game window on a system with multiple monitors after opening and closing game bar so you couldn't use it within the game. Some other fixes, for example, an issue that was causing some apps used for remoting into other PCs to crash in the latest Canary builds was fixed and also a bug check with system thread exception not handled was fixed as well as the SFC scan now command that was unexpectedly showing errors every time it was ran. And also registry editor would be going unresponsive if you pressed alt after clicking on the license information in the about section that was also fixed. We also have two new node issues for example accent colored window borders are not displaying when enabled and shadows are displaying when enabled and also there's a known issue where people are seeing windows launching and animations even though the setting to show animations is turned off. One other thing that I've noticed in this build is that the file explorer is really really slow to launch. I think this should also be a known issue if it's not related to my computer but as you can see I'm launching file explorer and it is extremely slow to open and this is the case every time I open it up so hopefully that is not something to do with my computer but it shouldn't. This is also a known issue that I've noticed. Please let me know below in the comments if you've also noticed this. Of course it is a canary build after all so we can expect bugs and issues because it is a testing build for Microsoft. So for more information, don't forget to check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.